One of the most popular types of funds you can invest in is called a multi-manager fund. These are often billed as no-brainer investments because they give you exposure to a broad range of asset classes in a single fund. Multi-asset funds are essentially um, a way for investors to get exposure to um, multiple asset classes um, via a, a single fund structure. And so the idea is that they, they present a family of funds, um, a family of multi-asset funds, and you can choose one of these funds depending on your risk appetite as, as an investor. But is it a good idea to invest in a multi-manager fund? Abraham Okasanaya's company produces an annual report which compares their performance with a simple low-cost portfolio containing just two index trackers, an equity fund and a bond fund. What we found was that, well, again, you know, over any one year period, you will do better than 60% of the multi-asset funds out there. When we extend that time horizon to you know, five years, you go to 80%, you would do better than 80% of professionally um, you know, trained um, you know, fund managers who, who are trying to mix equities, bonds, and all those things in your portfolio. And over a 10-year period, um, you know, for the funds that, that survive, you would do better than 90% of them. So why do multi-manager funds perform so badly? There are, says Abraham, two main reasons. And the first is that they tend to be quite expensive. You have to pay for the underlying manager for each of the asset classes. And then, of course, you have to pay for the multi-asset fund manager who's trying to, to manage the whole thing. So, so cost is, is one reason why um, you know, they don't outperform. The other reason is if you think that it's hard to pick any single fund that would outperform for a single asset class, let's say US equities, for instance, imagine trying to do that for five or six or 10 different asset classes. Like so many investment products, multi-manager funds sound very attractive. But year after year, the evidence shows us that they're best avoided.